Hello YouTube. I'm going to be reading from A New Concept of the Universe, written by Walter Russell. 3. This Electric Universe of Simulated Idea Mind thinking is electric. Divided electric thought, pulsations manifest creative desire in wave cycles of motion which forever vibrate between the two electric thought conditions of concentrative and decentrative. Concentrative and decentrative sequences of electric thinking produce the opposed pressures of compression and expansion, which form solid bodies of motion surrounded by gaseous space in one wave pulsation, and reverse that order in the next. Concentrative thinking is centripetal. It focuses to a point. It bores gravity. It charges by multiplying low potential into high and cold into heat. Decentrative thinking is centrifugal. It expands into space. It bores radiation. It discharges by dividing high potential into low and heat into cold. All motion is a continuous two-way journey in opposite directions between two destinations. One destination is the apex of a cone in an incandescent center of gravity. At this point, motion comes to rest and reverses its direction. The other destination is the base of the cone, encircling a cold, evacuated center of radiation. At this point, motion again comes to a rest and reverses its direction from centrifugal to centripetal. So long as the Creator's mind divides his knowing by his thinking, just so long will that two-way motion continue its sequences of cycles to record God's imagings in forms of his imagings, God being eternal, likewise his universe is eternal. The belief of science that the universe had a beginning in some past remote period as the result of some giant cataclysm and will come to an end in some future remote period is due to not knowing that waves of motion are the thought waves of the universal thinker. Also the belief of science that the universe is dying a heat death by the expansion of suns is due to not knowing that there are as many black evacuated holes in space for the reboring of suns as there are compressed suns for the reboring of evacuated black holes. Together, the interchange between these two conditions constitutes the heartbeat of the universe, and they are equal. Being equal, they are balanced and continuous eternal. The journey towards gravity simulates life and the opposite journey simulates death in the forever repeating cycles which together in their continuity simulate eternal life. The two opposite pressure conditions which control the life-death cycles of all bodies are a the negative condition of expansion which thrusts outward, radially and spirally from a centering zero of rest to form the low potential condition which constitutes space. And B, the positive condition of compression which thrusts inward toward a centering zero of rest to form the compressed condition of gravity which generates forming bodies into solids surrounded by space. Desire of mind express its desire through the electric process of thinking. Thinking divides idea into pairs of oppositely conditioned units of motion which record a simulation of idea into thought forms. Sir James Jeans has suggested the possibility that matter might be proven to be pure thought. Matter is not pure thought, but it is the electric record of thought. Every electric wave is a recording instrument which is for 
ever recording the form of thought in wave fields of matter. All thought waves created anywhere in any wave field become universal by repeating them everywhere. Thought waves of expanded and compressed states of motion are fashioned into moving patterns which simulate the forms of the creator's imagings. All formed bodies thus created are made in his image. This division of the undivided light and an extension into oppositely conditioned states of motion is the basis of the universal heartbeat of pulsing thought waves, which seemingly divide the one whole idea into many ones. Interchange between oppositely conditioned pairs of thought recording units is expressed in waves of motion. This is a thought wave universe. Thought waves are reproduced throughout the universe at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. It is commonly believed that the incandescent sense of suns is light. Incandescence simulates light in the cinema universe of macrocosmic make-believe. But incandescent is not light. It is but motion. Incandescence is merely the compressed half of the one divided pair of opposite conditions which constitutes matter and space. The black vacuity of cold space constitutes the expanded half. Together, these two are as much mates as male and female are mates. Each is equally essential to the other. Each finds balance in the other by voiding each other's unbalance. These two conditions and directions of compression and expansion are necessary for the two-way interchange of motion which performs the work of integrating and disintegrating the living dying cycles of opposed motion, motion which this uni electric universe is. The incandescence of compressed matter and the black vacuity of expanded matter are the two opposite polar ends of nature's bar magnet. Nature does not make her bar magnets in the form of cylinders as man does. She makes them in the form of cones. In this radial universe, no other form of motion than the spiral form of cones is possible. This means that the negative end of nature's magnet is tens of thousands of times larger in volume than the positive end. Although the potentials of each other are equal, it also means that the equilibrium plane which divides nature's magnet is curved. While the same plane in the cylindrical bar magnet is a flat plane of zero curvature.